Uh, good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in exercise 2G uh, in chapter 1. Very short uh, question that I extracted and very popular question in examinations or in a task that I normally assessed. Now it says, um, if machine X on its own can produce 1000 volts in four hours. So that means this machine X is able to produce 1000 volts in four hours. You don't have to worry in terms of what are volts, but you know that this is the number of units that are being produced by this machine. Uh, we then need to know how many units can this machine produce per hour. So what we can do is to say 1000 divided by the number of hours it takes to produce uh, the 1000. Uh, this will give us 250 definitely. 1000 divided by 4 hours. That means in each and every hour uh, this machine produces uh, 250 volts uh, per hour. Then, uh, and it says, and machine Y on its own can produce 1000 volts in five hours. So we need to know if machine Y, how many units does it produce per hour? So machine Y, we have to say the total units that it can produce, divide by the total hours so that we get to know uh, how many units uh, can be produced per hour. Uh, then now uh, we will get to a total of 200 <laughs> if I'm correct 1000 divided by uh, 5 hours this will give us 200 volts uh, per hour that means machine Y can produce 200 volts per hour so this is the number of units or the number of units yes so the number of volts per hour that are produced by each of these machine 200 another one 250 in other words in one hour if these machines are working together in one hour this machine can produce uh, 450 volts in one hour both of them working together now uh, we read further it says then in how many hours can machines Y and machine X working together can produce the 1000 volts at these constant rates? Meaning, assuming that these machines, they produce 250 and 200 per hour. <clears throat> Therefore, if they keep that constant rate, uh, then uh, in how many hours can this uh, machine produce 1000 units? Now we are very clear that um, machine X production plus machine Y production is equal to 450 uh, units, which is 450 volts uh, per hour. That we have seen it, 450 volts uh, per hour, meaning in one hour they produce 450 volts. Um, that means <clears throat> uh, uh, in two hours, I'm just explaining this one further. In two hours, they will produce another 450. That means over two hours, they will produce um, 900 uh, volts in two hours. 900 volts in two hours. That we can see. This one is in one hour. So in two hours, they can produce um, 900. Then the remainder will be 100, but uh, we are not there just to show you the other uh, dimension. Now, we know that machine X and Y can produce 450 volts per hour. Then we are required now to calculate how many, <clears throat> uh, how many uh, units can be produced by machine Y and X uh, within, how many, how many hours can it take to produce 1000 units? So it will be uh, x uh, plus y is equal to 1000 divided by 450 per hour because both of them uh, can produce 450 per hour. So now we say 1000 divided by the number of units per hour. Remember, 
this is 450 per hour i want to highlight that so now this is 450 units per hour so now what are we looking for we are looking for the number of hours because these are the 450 units per hour so now if we divide units uh, by units we by units per hour then we'll get uh, the number of hours now previously again we we, we said 1000 divide by 4 hours then whatever we got uh, was per hour in other words the 250 was per what we divided with because we divided by the number of hours it takes to complete 1000 units so now the answer that we got was 250 volts per hour why did you say per hour because we divided by hours take note of that and again we said 1000 uh, divided by five hours so the answer that we got uh, will be per what we divide with then that will be uh, that was 200 units or 200 volts uh, per hour that are manufactured uh, by machine y so now here we divide by the units per hour which is the number of units that are produced per hour then the answer that we will get will be in hours meaning the number of hours it will take to complete the 1000 units when machine <coughs> x and y are working together mm -hmm. so now in this case uh, what is important is first to determine how many units can be produced by uh, one machine per hour and how many units can be produced by one machine per hour so that we get to know the total units that are manufactured by both machines per hour then after now we see the total units that these two machines uh, can uh, or want to produce divide by uh, the total units that these two machines can produce per hour this will give us the number of hours if you use decimals you can just say uh, 1000 divided by 450 uh, this gives you 2.22345678 hours <clears throat> so that will be in decimal like that but i just want to you uh, simplify this into a mixed fraction so now we have 1000 in this case which is divided by 450 <clears throat> 50 cancels 50 we are left with 100 divided by 45 5 goes to 100 uh, goes to 20 times 5 goes to 45 it goes 9 times so i use 5 as the lowest common um, uh, denominator now uh, that brings us to 20 over uh, 9 remember this is not 59 it's 5 goes to uh, 45 which is nine times there on top nine times so we have 20 over 9 9 goes to 20 uh, two times and it leaves the remainder remember 9 goes to 22 times it is 18 it leaves the remainder of 2 over 9 so now depending to <clears throat> which option you are given as an answer if it is a mixed fraction then uh, use the approach of 2 is 2 uh, 2 over <clears throat> 9 if the answer is uh, in the multiple choice uh, format is in decimal then this is the answer that you will choose now again what is important first determine how many units can each machine manufacture this is the number of units each machine can manufacture the number of units each machine can manufacture per hour remember then after we get the total units that both machine can produce per hour then after we take the total units uh, when working together machine x and y when working together how many hours can it take them to produce 1000 units so now we say the 1000 units divide by the number of units per hour for both machines because both machines want to produce working together 1000 units so now we say 1000 units divide by the total units um, uh, that both machine x and y can produce per hour therefore now that will give you <coughs> uh, the number of hours meaning it is two hours and uh, some minutes in other words two hours and some minutes remember two over nine is the same uh, point two 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 uh, two over nine two over nine is the same point two 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 so this two is this two 
and that 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 uh, in decimal is the 2 over 9. So that is in simple city how you can respond uh, to such type of questions. With that, guys, thank you very much. Within 10 minutes.